Okay, welcome to another uh, tutorial here with our class. We are, I don't know, I have a headphone in. I'm not actually doing anything. Um, we are, this video is specifically made to just fix a couple things that our old tutorial changed into the new tutorial, and so some of the images are very different. And so when we're using InDesign, the video works great for the basics of InDesign, but the, um, the content in the video doesn't really work for the layout. So I'm going to come up with a new layout here, kind of on the fly, to fill in some gaps. So if you have, have or are taking my class and you've watched through this InDesign Basics video, you'll learn lots about InDesign and how it all works. And up to about here, everything is good. So kind of halfway through, we make all the boxes. Uh, we get to the 20 we'll say 25 minute mark, and then it gets sideways really fast. So I'm gonna open up InDesign here on my computer and we will get going with a new version that hopefully fixes some of those mistakes made in the original version. So I'm gonna do this quickly. Oh, it's gonna be so mad at me for doing that. I, hang on. Here we go. We're going to go back to assignment number one because that's kind of where this whole craziness all started was in assignment number one. We had uh, gone through and we created six different images. So five of them we did together as a group. Image number six we did individually, which means that the size of image number six is going to be a little bit crazy. So uh, we're going to have to come up with a different box configuration that allows us to fit all of those images in. Uh, and also, um, yeah, just go from there. So what I think we might do is we might not post, well, no, let's see if we can figure it out. So we're gonna open up, well, InDesign is still opening on my computer. It's decided that right when I need it to be quick, it's decided to go really slowly. So I am gonna just talk for a moment while it loads in the background here. Uh, probably doesn't help that I have Illustrator and Photoshop open at the same time, but hey, what can you do, right? So, uh, one of the things with InDesign, I'm not sure if I, I can't remember fully if I mentioned it in the other video, but it is the, the sort of market leader or the industry standard when it comes to page layout and page design. So when you're making a magazine, when you're making um, a brochure, a handout, nowadays, even if you're making sometimes websites or digital material that are like um, virtual magazines and stuff, you also would still create those in InDesign. Wow, I've got something in my eye. Okay, here comes InDesign. Let's go, come on. InDesign is a large program. It's funny, people think that like video editing and Photoshop and stuff take up a lot of resources, but InDesign is actually notoriously large and it's a bit of an obscenely huge um, program for when we're doing things. So uh, I'm going to try to open, I don't know if I have the original document from when we first created this or not. I do not have that, I don't think. That's okay. We're going to do it quickly from scratch. So uh, create a new document. Some of this will be slightly review. We need it to be a print based document. And we need it to be uh, 11 by 17 as a tabloid, nice and big. This gives us lots of room to work with. Um, I'm not sure, the other one may have been 8.5 by 11. Uh, if you created an original document that was, I'll just do this, if you created a document that was a new document that was a standard letterhead piece of paper. You can go into the document settings, so you can go file, document setup, brings up this panel, and you can actually change this to be tabloid, hit OK, and it will just change your document size for you, uh, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, we, according to the original assignment, we should be, we're looking to try to make something that looks or resembles this PDF here. 
Um, obviously, we never did this picture. We didn't do this picture. We didn't actually do any of these. We did this one that sort of looks like this green one. So the pictures from the new tutorial don't match the old tutorial. But the layout, what we're going to do is we're going to try to have something at the top here and some at the bottom. And uh, we should be able to have some fun with this. So uh, one that I just did. What did we title this bad boy? InDesign Basics. There we go. All right. So at the top here, we need a title box. It's going to say InDesign. Basics. This InDesign Basics needs to be bigger. And then it needs to say Mr. Right. And this is block two, or whatever you want to call it, PN block. Okay, this is obviously too big. This needs to be somewhere in the 24 point. It's 30. I need to move it down a bit. Perfect. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, we learned how to create some boxes and stuff in InDesign, which is super important because we have lots of different placeholders that we are going to have. So if you're doing this assignment in Google Slides, you're going to do your very best to make it look similar. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly the same. Uh, I'm going to create two boxes that are identical in size at the top here. And then I am going to actually create here. Let's do four small ones in the middle. A little bit bigger. And then one big long one at the bottom. And have some fun with this. So, inside these various boxes, we are going to place the various images that we made. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have one extra box. Hang on. Let's go Let's make these not the same size. Let's do this. Or maybe let's do all the same. This will be a better. Even better. Here we go. Let's just do all the same size. Put them in half. And we'll do six different boxes. And it will be what it will be. We want them more like 8.5 by 11 on their side. So we'll just spread them out a little bit here. Whoopsies. I'm just going to give a little more space in between all these boxes so that they look a little nicer. And I'm going to move all of them down just a little bit to fill the page. This gives me space to put some labels in. And we will use the text tool to add in image one. Uh, people are asking me, I can almost guarantee you what the question is. 
Oh, the lo okay. I'll show you. Just keep watching. You'll you'll figure it out right away here. Uh, small text box for the name. We want it to be the same size as this one. We want this to say image one. And we are going to center this and make this bigger. Say 48 points. Oh, maybe a little smaller. 36. Then I'm going to hold Alt and I can drag this out. Make copies of all of these labels so that I have them one for each image. So all I did is I used, I clicked on the one I wanted to copy, hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and drag to the new location, make the copy. We did this yesterday in Photoshop as well, it's the same principle. Uh, and then all I have to do is just double click, change this to a 2. Three, four, five, oops, this is a count in order, this would be a six, this is a five. Okay, and then inside the boxes, I'm going to go file, and we are going to place our images. And yesterday we have a whole bunch of images that we created. Uh, mine should be on my desk. On tech 10. I've got my, I only have five because I didn't do a sixth one, but regardless, um, I have image one, two, three, four, five. These are my Photoshop documents. I'm going to hit open. It will preload them into this placement gun kind of thing. It's loaded up as I have five. You can see in the brackets I have five images, and this is the the ones I have, so I'm going to put the first one in the first box, the second one in the second box, three, four, five, and then number six will be whatever you guys decided to do as your custom one. Uh, you select the box or boxes. If I if I drag and select, I can select a couple of them, or I can just select one box at a time, uh, and then you're going to right click and say fitting and say fit content proportionately. And then you're going to do the same thing again. Right click, fitting, fit content proportionately. Right click, oops, click on the box. Right click, fitting, fit content proportionately. Fit content proportionately. Fit content proportionately. And then you would do the same thing for image number six. Whatever your personal choice would be. Uh, it goes like that. I'm going to put in here, I'm just going to put per personal choice goes here. Okay. Make this a little bit bigger. Everybody can see it. Take the spaces out. Perfect. Okay, I also want to have some outlines, so I'm going to highlight these boxes and just give them a little bit of a stroke. Four points should do it. And four points. Okay, so that is your new layout. Super fast. I know I go fast. I'm sorry. Hopefully you have fun with it. And this makes a little more sense now for the images that we created in the new and improved Photoshop Basics tutorial. So I will export this as a PDF, post it to SchoolZone for you so that you have it in your Google Classroom. Not to SchoolZone, but to post it to Google Classroom. <laughs> and it should be uh, off to the races. Hopefully everything works. Uh, thanks for watching our fun, quick, fast tutorial. And hopefully everything makes a little bit more sense. See you later. Have a good time.